بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وآله وسلم تسليما وأستغفر الله العظيم وأتوب إليه On the 14th Rajab is the hall of the greatest and prominent alim al-allama in East Africa whose love and mercy has spread worldwidely. The one who embraced thousands of people into the fall of Islam. His name is Al-Habib Ahmed Mashhur bin Taha bin Ali Al-Haddad. He followed the firm footsteps of his ancestors. Al-Habib Abdullah bin Alawi Al-Haddad. He was born in the town of Kaidun in Hyderabad in the year 1325 Hijriya 1904. He grew up in the house with all provinces of knowledge and piety. Hamada Hababa Safiya binti Tahir Al-Haddad was the one who passed on with her exaltation and recitation of the Holy Quran to Al-Habib Ahmad Mashur Al-Haddad while his father was in Indonesia spreading da'wah for a long period of time. His blessed mother sent Al-Habib Ahmad Mashur Al-Haddad to the Ribat of Kaidun and learned from the great personalities of Al-Haddad of two brothers. Al-Habib Alawi bin Tahir Al-Haddad and Al-Habib Abdullah bin Tahir Al-Haddad, who are his maternal uncles. They were the founders of the Ribat of Kaidun, Naf an bihim. Al-Habib Alawi bin Tahir Al-Haddad took Al-Habib Ahmad Mashur Al-Haddad to Indonesia to learn and connect with many of the elect masters. To name few, are Al-Habib Muhammad bin Ahmed Al-Muhdar, Al-Habib Abdullah bin Muhsin Al-Attas, Al-Habib Alawi bin Muhammad Al-Haddad, and many more. After that, he returned back to Kaidun and went to different parts of town in Hyderabad from many elect masters to relish his thirst for knowledge. It is not possible to mention all his sheikhs in Hyderabad here as there are too many of them. However, to mention few are eminently scholars such as Al-Habib Ahmed bin Hassan Al-Attas, Al-Habib Alawi bin Abdullah bin Shihab, Al-Habib Abdullah bin Umar Al-Shadri, Al-Habib Muhammad bin Ali Al-Habshi and many more. And then finally, he traveled to Mukalla, southern coast of the Arabian Peninsula, to take spiritual assistance and guidance from Al Arif Billah, Al Habib Ahmed bin Muhsin Al Haddar. Naf an After receiving his permission from the illustrious guide of the successors, Al Habib Ahmed bin Muhsin Al Haddar, he traveled to Zanzibar in East Africa for the first time in 1347 Hijriya, 1926. During that period, he was only 22 years of age and he was cordially welcomed by many of the great scholars of Zanzibar. The ulamas of Zanzibar requested Al-Habib Ahmed Mashur Al-Haddad to give a daras in the month of Ramadan on Quranic Tafsir at Masjid i in Malindi. At this moment, he showed a vast knowledge of ilm where he spent 15 days explaining the meaning of this particular verse in Surah Al-Fatiha. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. Subhanallah. After six months, he returned back to Hyderabad. After four years, he traveled second time to East Africa and arrived at the main port of Mombasa, and he stayed at the residence of Sheikh Saleh bin Salim Alian. Then he heard the praises of Al Habib Saleh bin Alawi Jamal al Layl. Thus, he decided to go to Lamu and meet him. He was very much welcomed by the family members of Al Habib Saleh 
and went to meet Al Habib Swali Jamal in Lay. The meeting between them was vividly venerated and blessed. Al Habib Swali prayed for him, granted Ijaza, and made him lead people in the Zuhur prayer in the Riyadh Mosque. Subhanallah. After that, he returned to Mombasa after performing Hajj, took up a residence in Mombasa, and began to do his da'wah. He traveled to different parts of villages in Kenya to call tribes to Allah. Al-Habib Ahmed Mashur al-Haddad traveled to Uganda in 1375 Hijriah, 1957. When he visited Uganda, he found most of the tribes had no religion except idolatry and some entered Christianity. Al-Habib Ahmed Mashur al-Haddad embarked on calling them all to the truth and traveled into the deep villages and the outlying jungles until he reached the land of the big miss in Congo. Wherever he went, people turned to him and embraced Islam. In all of that, Al-Habib Sharif Sa'id bin Abdullah al-Bid was his right hand and aid. During his sojourn in Uganda, he wrote a book called Miftahul Jannah. This book has been translated in English, French, German, Urdu and Swahili which has been diffused worldwide. The greatest scholar of East Africa whom Al-Habib connected and took excellently from is Al-Habib Omar bin Ahmed bin Smet. Al-Habib Omar bin Smet liked Al-Habib Ahmed Mashur al-Haddad very much. The firm connections between them are very spiritual and sacred. Eventually, his final stay was in Mombasa and spent most of his life in Kenya for six months and Saudi Arabia for six months. He was firm in guiding people to Islam and placed an institute of knowledge and built many mosques wherever he went in different parts of Kenya. Among his great undertakings is the establishment of the weekly Burda gatherings, which are held every Thursday night at different homes. It is still happening now in Nairobi and Mombasa. In his latter age, he always kept his house open seven days a week, every day of the year, for those who wished to sit with him and absorb some of his learning and the subtle blessings of his company. Subhanallah. Due to his advanced illness, he returned back to Jeddah and stayed there until he was called to Allah on Wednesday 14 Rajab 1416 Hijriah, 6 December 1995. This prevailed immense sorrow all over the world. He he is buried in the blessed earth of the Alawi enclosure in the Al Ma'ala cemetery in Mecca. May Allah have mercy upon him, grant us with his portion of piety and blessings, and make us follow his blessed footsteps. Amen.